Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to discuss the question level by level printing of a binary tree. In my previous video we talked about level order traversal of a binary tree. For this binary tree the level order traversal is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this question is slightly different in the sense that you need to print every level in a new line. So the output for this program should be 1 then at a new line 2, 3, then at a new line 4, 5, 6, 7, and then at a new line 8, 9, and 10. So how do we solve this? We have three different techniques to solve this problem. Let's look at them one by one. My first technique is using two queues. Let's see how this works. So I have two queues, Q1 and Q2. I put my root in Q1, then I pop it out from Q1, make that as current. If current has left, I put that in Q2, if current has right, I put that in Q2 and now since Q1 is empty, I print 1 and now since Q1 is empty, I print a new line here and go to the next uh, next line. So now I'm looking in Q2. Now so, my, so I pop from the Q2 so that current becomes 2. 2 has left child, so that goes in Q1. 2 has right child, so that goes in Q1. And then I print 2 and uh, now Q2 is still not empty, so my current becomes 3. 3 has a left child 6, and 3 has right child 7, and I print 3. Now my Q2 is empty, so I put a new line here, and I go to the next line, and I go back to Q1. So we pop from the Q1, so current becomes 4, and we current 4 doesn't have a left or right child, so we just print 4, then my current becomes 5, 5 has a left child 8, so it, that goes into Q2, 5 has a right child 9, so that goes into Q2 and I print 5, then I pop from Q1, 6, so my current becomes 6, 6 does not have a left or right child, so I just print 6, and then I go to uh, last guy 7 so my current becomes 7 7 has a left child so I push that in Q into Q2 and I print 7 now my Q1 is empty so I again put a new line there and go to the next line so uh, now my current becomes 8 I pop it out from here 8 doesn't have a left or right child so I just print 8 then my current becomes 9 I print 9 9 doesn't have left or right child and finally my current becomes 10. I print 10, 10 doesn't have left or right child. So this is it. So this is how I printed all the levels in a new line. How much time would it take? Uh, since we are traversing every node once, it'll take O of n time. And how much space it will take? In the worst case, Q2 or Q1 will have all the leaf nodes. So the total space will also be O of n. So time complexity, is O of n and space complexity is also O of n. Again we maintain two queues we keep popping out from Q1 and keep pushing the child into Q2 and as soon as Q1 is empty we print a, a new line there and go to the Q2 and we keep doing this until we have elements in Q1 and Q2. As soon as Q, both Q1 and Q2 are empty we break out of the while loop and we would have printed a level by level a traversal. Next, let's look at the uh, one queue technique. My second technique involves using one queue and a delimiter. Let's see how this works. So I take the root, put that into the queue, and I put a null element into the queue. This null element acts as my delimiter. So I pop from the top of the queue, so my current becomes one. If one has a left child, which it does, so I put that at the back of the queue. One has a right child, so I put that back of the queue, and then I print one. Now I pop again from the top of the queue, so current becomes null. So as soon as I see a null, I push a null at the bottom of the queue. So I push a null here, and then I also put a new line here. So we print, start printing from the next line. So again I pop from the top of the queue, so that's 2. 2 has a left child 4, and 2 has a right child 5. So we print 2 and uh, we again pop from the, the top of the queue 3. So current becomes 3. 
3 has a left child 6, 3 has a right child 7, and we print 3. Now as soon as I see a null, first thing I do is I push a null at the bottom of the queue. My current is null. Then I put a new line here and start printing from the next line. So 4, 4, so my current becomes 4. 4 doesn't have a left child or right child, so I just print 4. My, now my new current becomes 5, top of the queue. 5 has a left child 8, and 5 has a right child 9, and I print 5. My new current becomes 6. 6 doesn't have a left or right child, so I just print 6. My new current becomes 7. 7 has a left child 10, so I put that into the queue and I print 7. Now as soon as I see a null, so my new current is null. As soon as I see a null, I push a null at the end of the queue and I put a new line here. So again I start printing from the next line. So my new current is 8. Uh, so I, 8 doesn't have a left or right child, so I just print 8 here. Now my new current is top of the queue, which is 9. Again, 9 doesn't have left or right child, so I just put it here. Again, my new current becomes 10. 10 doesn't have left or right child, so I just print 10 here. And now I get a null. Now as soon as I get a null, if the, if the queue is empty, I don't push this null into the queue. So now my queue is empty and I break out of the while loop. So this is my result. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, each on the new line. Again, this will take O of n time and O of n space to solve this problem. Next, let's look at one queue and a counter technique to solve this problem. So my technique number three uses one queue and a two counters, level count and current count. Let's see how this works. So I put one into the top of the queue. My level count is one, my current count is zero. So I pop from the queue, so my current becomes one. Then, if current has a left child, which it does, so I push that into the queue and increase my current count by 1. My current also has a right child, 3, so I push that into the queue and increment this by 2. So then I print 1, decrement my level count by 1, and as soon as my level count becomes 0, I put a new line here, so basically I'll start printing from the next line, and then I take current count, put that into level count, and make current count as 0. Next, let's pop from the top of the queue, so that's 2. And 2 has a, two has a left child 4, so I push that into the bottom of the queue and increment my current count by 1. 2 has a right child 5, so I push that into the bottom of the queue and increment my current count by 2. And then I print 2 and I decrement my level count by 1. We keep decrementing it until it becomes zero, and then we go to the new line. So now I pop again from the top of the queue, which is three. So my current becomes three. Three has a left child six, so that goes into the queue, and I increment my current count by two by one, so that becomes three. Three has a left ch right child seven, so I push that into the queue and increment my current count by one, so that becomes four. Then I print three, and then I decrement my level count. As soon as my level count becomes zero, I put a new line here, start printing from the new line, take whatever is into the current count into the level count, and make current count as zero. Again, again, then I start popping from the top of the queue. So current becomes four. Four doesn't have a left or right child, so current count doesn't change. I print four, and I decrement my level count by one. Now my current becomes five. 5 has a left child 10, 8, I increment my current count by 1. 5 has a right child 9, I increment my current count by 1. And then I print 5 and I decrement my level count. Now my current count, I again pop from the top of the queue, so the current becomes 6. 6 doesn't have left or right child, so I just print 6 and level count becomes 1. Now uh, I pop next guy from the current which is 7. 
7 has a left child 10, so that goes into the bottom of the queue and my current count becomes 3. And I print 7 and my level count becomes 0. As soon as my level count becomes 0, I put a new line here, copy everything from current count into level count, so level count becomes 3 and then make current count as 0. Now again get from the top of the queue, so my current becomes 8. 8 doesn't have left or right child, so I just print 8 and decrement my level count to 2. Again I pop from the queue so current becomes 9. 9 doesn't have left or right child so I print 9. Don't increment my current count but decrement my level count by 1. So that becomes 1. And then 10 is out of the queue and my level count becomes 0. My current is 10. As soon as my queue is empty I break out of the while loop. So this is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is my level by level printing of this binary tree. Again, the way it worked was we kept the level count. Level count gives me the count of how many uh, elements are at that level and the current count is keeping the count of how many elements are there at the next level. The total time for this algorithm will be O of N and that the space complexity will also be O of N. If you can write the code from here, I would say that you can stop watching the video and if you're interested in looking at the code, you can stay on. Next, we are going to look at the code for this algorithms. So here is my code for level by level traversal using two queues. Let's glance at the structure of the code. The name of the function is level by level traversal. It takes root of the binary tree, returns nothing. If root is null, we just return. Otherwise, we initialize two queues backed up by link quest. And here I have the logic of printing them level by level. Let's work out with this example here. My root is one, root is not null, so I initialize two queues, q1 and q2, add one to q, add one to q1. Now in this, we are at the outer while loop, q1 is not empty, so it is not empty, so we go inside this inner while loop. Again, q1 is not empty, so we come here, I pull from this q1, my root becomes one, and the first thing I do is I print out one, if one has a left child, we add that to Q2 here. If one has a right child, if, if we add that to Q2 again. So we go back here. Now Q1 is empty, so we break out of this while loop. We come here. I print a new line, so basically everything from next will be printed on the next line. So I come here. Q2 is not empty, so root becomes Q2 pole, so root becomes 3, the top of Q2. We print 3, 3 has, doesn't have a left child, so we don't go into this if condition, 3 does have a right child, so we add that to Q1. So we go back here again, my root becomes 2 now, and then we print 2, 2 has a left child, so we add that into Q1, 2 has a right child, so we add that into Q1. And now we go back to the top of the while loop. Now Q2 is empty, so we come here, we print a new line here, so next printing will happen from next line. So we go back top of this while loop. Q1 is not empty, so we come here, again Q1 is not empty, so my root becomes Q1's pole, so that becomes 6. We print 6 first. 6 does not have a left child, so we don't go here. 6 has a right child, so we add that to Q2. We go back again to this while loop, so my root becomes... Uh, Q1 is still not empty, so my root becomes 4. We print 4. 4 has a left child, 9. 4 also has a right child, 10. So we add that to Q2. We go back to top of the while loop, we go to 5, so my root becomes 5. I print 5. 5 doesn't have left or right child, so we come back to the top of while loop. Now my Q1 is empty, so I again print a new line here. I again come here. So my Q1 is not empty. My Q2 is not empty, so my root becomes Q2's pole, so my root becomes 8. And uh, I pull it from here. I print 8. 8 doesn't have left or right child, so I go back top of the while loop. Now my root becomes 9. 9 uh, doesn't have left or right child, I print 9. And then again it goes back to top of while loop, my root becomes 10. I print 10. 
10 doesn't have left or right child. So we break out of this while loop. We print a new line. We come here. Now both Q1 and Q2 are empty. So we break out of this while loop and just return. So this is uh, my solution for two queues. If, if you want to check out the solution for one queue and the counter, and if you want to check out the solution for uh, one queue with a delimiter, go to my GitHub link, github.com, mission piece, interview wiki. And if you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user, Tushara, 2525. Thanks for watching this video.